Welcome back to my channel, DIY Nails by Wood. Today I'm going to show you long teabag nail tips. First things first is I pre-cut tapered strips into my teabag, uh, one for each nail, so that I can pull them off as I go and finish that nail first before moving on to the next because you, you don't want it to break. You want it to be nice and hard and ready. I use my base bond to go about three-fourths halfway up the nail. You want a lot of surface for the tip to adhere to. You don't want it to just whoop, break off. <laughs> so I press it down. I use my little pick here to push it down even more on the surface because I want every inch of that tea bag to stick to the surface of my nail. I've had some instances where a part of it wasn't stuck down all the way and it made my nail look very odd. I use my clippers to clip off the excess further up on my natural nail because I don't want the extra space of that tea bag tip to misshapen my natural nail. I use a little bit more base bond to pat down that tip of the tea bag, and then I go along the entire surface of my natural nail that's underneath, applying base. So again, I can push down that tea bag, and it sticks to every little spot of my of my natural nail. And then after, oh wait, 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 <laughs> I don't do this yet. I do the length first, then the shape. So just using scissors. I go ahead and cut the length and then I go I go in and cut a taper. I mean you could easily just dip and then file it to the shape, but why do that if you don't need to? Cut some of this excess off and it gives you far much less work. I use my clippers to uh, create a little bit more straighter tapered shape that I don't trust myself doing with scissors. And then I just kind of eyeball it from here and I keep cutting with the scissors to get that length where I want it to hopefully match the other nails. And then once it has clear dip and it's activated and it's hard, you can go in and file it a little bit neater. This is just to get that excess off. All right, and then from here, now this is something, I go just that free edge of the tip first and clear to build up. So just the free edge, let it dry, I go ahead and trace around my cuticle, uh, wipe off some of the clear, and then the second go, I go a little bit over the white of my nail. So it's kind of like double the amount of the free edge. It gives the free edge a little bit more strength as it goes up onto your nail and kind of builds the apex because that tip is going to be the thinnest part of your nail. So you need to build that up onto your natural nail. Using my pick, I kind of straighten up the edges before I would activate. And here it is, let's solidify. Now I'm going to use the back end of another pick I have because it's a little bit thicker. And when I activate, I immediately put it underneath. And then using my other fingers, I curve the very tip around my little pick here as it's starting to harden because your natural nail is rounded and these tea bags are obviously flat. And you want it to look a little bit more of a natural shape. And then as it's hardening, you can still kind of manipulate it and get it rounded, get it a more natural nail shape. Um, I did pause the video and <laughs> allow the activator to dry before I started filing here. So just file, 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 get it nice and smooth. You want to get the edges rounded and uh, the tips. Here I'm just cutting off a piece of my nail guard because my nail guard wasn't covered all the way in clear and it'll be fine. When I was filing I did bump the table and I chipped one of my tips but it's okay, it's hard. So as you see I can apply a little bit of force with my glass file and start filing and shaping and it's perfectly fine. It's just because off camera I bumped a table. So I start while looking at my hand straight at me and I start filing the tip and then eventually I'll move on to my hand facing away from me and filing the tip and then oh oh hold on. So right here, I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you that when you're making tips or even just any nail product in general, the underneath of your nail may not necessarily be straight like right here and smooth. So it is very important to get underneath that nail to get any product off because that can make your nail look misshapen. And then I do a little bit on each side and I try and just kind of like a few seconds here, a few seconds on the other side, a few seconds here, just to try and keep it even. And then again, I check with my hand away and my hand at me. So this is, I guess, a little bit of how I actually shape my nails, like if I were to do my real nails as well. And what I was trying to say is when my hand is facing away from me, I will take my glass file and kind of file in a straight motion and not move my hand, but move the file in a straight motion. And that's what helps me get my lines a little bit cleaner. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more detail on the pinky hair. Again, I go underneath the nail to get that excess off because you don't want that to mess up the shape of your nail. And as I do it, I'll get the excess off and then I'll slowly bring the file up in a little bit more of a rounded motion because the sides of your nail is not perfectly square, it's, it's curved. And then again, I go a little bit on each side with my nail facing me, my nail facing away, just to make sure it's straight on both ends because your nail could look straight while it's facing you and then when you point it away, it could be like, whoop, not straight. <laughs> so just a little bit. And then again, I go up with the glass file up towards where uh, my nail connects onto my natural nail and I kind of go in a little bit more curved motion. And then you just keep eyeballing it. Like I said, this is what I do for my natural nails as well, just to kind of get a nice even shape. Sometimes it's not perfect and it's okay. <laughs> and then here, face away from me, and then I just do that tip, keep it as straight as I can. And thank you for watching. I, I use teabag tips a lot whenever I break a nail, but for the most part, they're natural, but this helps. Thank you for watching.